This is the Eiffel Tower. At night when it's lit up, it's very, very, very beautiful. One of the most important sites you can see. Mm. It's called the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel, Guinea. Not Eiffel. Okay, Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel. Not the Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower. It sounds like an Igbo name. Mm -hmm. Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Alright. Are, 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 are people living there? Yeah. They live in the tower? Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, people don't live in the tower. See, people say Paris is fine, but I say... All Europe is the same. They look alike. Mm. Nah, let me. You mean you've been to all these places? Mm -hmm. I've been to. I've been to Belgium. I've been to Toulouse. I've been to Luxembourg. I've been to Monaco. Monaco is fine, sure. I've been to Germany. I've been to Spain. I've been to Holland. My brother, I've been around. You know. Okay. Have you been to Belgium? Mm hmm. I've been to Belgium. Where are they bringing all those cars, those second-hand cars? Which cars? All the cars from all over the world, from Belgium. Oh. <laughs> hmm? You see, yeah? all the cars don't come from Belgium. The cars come from... Uh, it's just our people that label all of them Belgium cars. They have a seaport in Belgium. Huh? But the, some cars come from Holland as well. Some come from Germany, some come from America, some come from Canada. You know, different places, it's not just Belgium, but you know our people, they just label everything Belgium cars. Some cars come from Spain, we, yeah. And, but then Brodima, you know Brodima now? Mm -hmm. Every time uh, they bring in cars, they say it's from Belgium. <laughs> Don't mind them, it's not, it's not Belgium cars, but they're from all over the world. Let me show you, this is what they call Chum de Mar. Chum de Guinea. Chum de Mar. Chum de Mar. <laughs> Mar. All right, this is uh, where they call Boulevard de Rochechoua. Hmm? Boulevard de Rochechoua. They're they calling names that somebody will understand now. I say Boulevard de Rochechoua. Boulevard? No, Bolo. I don't want to bite my tongue. All the way from Garde Nord to Pigalle. Hmm? My brother, see, I'm really happy for you. Let is me show you, let me show you. Let me show you Charles de Gaulle Airport. Charles de Gaulle. Oh, but call that name again. Charles de Gaulle. This is the airport. I know, I know Charlie. <laughs> I know Charles de Gaulle. Where? In history. In history. Uh, Charles de Gaulle. Um, okay, French, French president. Huh? <laughs> Don't play with me. It's before. You know, it's before. <laughs> I know that one. Now. It's I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> Are you returning to? I just went to see Ernie off. Yeah. He just left. Uh -huh. So the village boy sees the city boy off. Uh -huh. The world traveler, the Atlas Mountaineer. So Ernie comes here from wherever he has been to, and you listen to his stories. Eh? Through one soul and lies, all mixed together. That shows how stupid you are. The one that even rubs it in is the fact that you have not even been to Lagos. Except in your feverish dreams. That is when you have malaria. Afterwards, you go to see him off. Then you return here, grinning from ear to ear like a silly goat. Fully satisfied by images and stories of the life he lives and tells you. Mama, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'm happy for him. He's my bosom friend. He loves me like his own blood. L look around you. Who does he visit like he visits me in this village? Every time he's here, he, he, he comes to stay with me. I'm happy for him. Then why doesn't he stop coming here? Mama, your enemy is with his mother. He doesn't come to see you. He comes to see me. Will you shut up your mouth? Your mother's enemy is your enemy. And listen, let me tell you. I don't ever want to see him here in this house again. Do you hear me? Have I told you? Have I told you that I, sh I I would have been the one married to his father now, not his mother? The rich man was coming for me. Not until he set his eyes on her and she snatched him. So Annie was born into a rich family. And I ended up with your father. A common young cropper. Now look at you. Looking like a young seedling waiting forever to be planted. 
Eh? He comes here to tell you about my job. You should have been the one in his shoes. You should have been the one traveling, traveling the whole world. Not him. That is why you should hate him. I say you should hate him with all you have got. Here. You should hate him. French wine. French wine, not France wine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to what? Eh? What is the meaning of cheers in this circumstance? Tell me. Huh? Give me what I'm drink it. Ah. Mommy, that's not a very civil thing to do. You want him to drink in our house. And if he goes out, his tummy pains him. Who do you think he will point at? His enemies, of course. Mommy. Mommy, Cordelia is not my enemy. I'm definitely not your enemy. Oh. His mother claims I married her husband and hates me to date. How else do you define the word enemy? How else? Mommy, Mommy. Mommy, Cordelia and I are young men. This is not concern us. It's not our business. Ask him if his mother speaks good of you. Or if his mother did not want him to stay clear of you. He's here, ask him. God, please, uh, ask him. My mother hates you. Because they hate each other. But, but, I love you like a brother. The question is, why, why does she hate me? Do you hate I don't like him. Mommy, do you hate my best body in this village? For, for what? For Cordelia, Cordel, sit down. Mommy, for what? Mm. Sit down. On a second thought. Mommy, I'm not going to sit down. Why? You, you just... Sit down, don't shout at me. I'm your mother. Listen. Why? On a second thought, I don't think you should complete the two weeks you planned to stay in this village. I don't want you missing with centipedes. They are poisonous. Let's call the least friendship alone. Mommy, if my daddy were to be alive today, he'd be proud of what I'm doing. Mommy, daddy will be proud of me. I'm, this is my roots. I'm connecting with my roots, mommy. I can't run away, mo mommy. You were the only friend I had. Never had another. No one has been this close to me. You were like my brother. Now, the shoes, the accessories and the clothes in there are all for you. I hope they fit. Hmm? You see, I'm all just want us to be enemies. But I see in you a friend, a real pal. Um, you bought you bought all these things, all from, from all these France clothes for me. See, Cordelia, I bought them abroad if that's what you mean. Hmm? Not necessarily in France. You, they were meant for me, they're all very good. I haven't even won any of them. They, all, they were meant for me, but I mean, what they? You know, I have more than enough. So I feel you should have this ones as well. Uh, it's like a gadget up now. <laughs> I would disturb this village. <laughs> and uh, Dai Obi, what's her name? Um, she will like you more. Uh -huh, Diana. You always forget her name. Diana. Ah, Diana likes beautiful things. Oh, really? But I'm a gadget up with this clothes. I enter Diana's place. Ah, my status have changed. <laughs> we should begin to look at me from a different world. Okay, you know what I'll do? And um, okay, maybe yeah. Mm. Someday when I travel again, then I could shop for her as well. Mm? So she won't be jealous of you that <laughs> you'll be envious, <laughs> huh? Mm. But you need to give me her sizes for shoes. Yeah, I'll give you all the sizes. Copy them. Yeah. Ah, I'll right. copy them. <laughs> you see why I call your name everywhere I go? You see why? I, why I see you're my blood brother? Because our mothers don't understand. You remember that day that you got drunk after the death of your father? and you jumped into the um, village stream 
and me accordingly. I swam like my life depended on it and pulled you out. Our mothers will not understand. They will never ever understand. Okay? They didn't see, they don't know how this relationship started. They will never know how it ends. You understand? They were not there. You know, my sorrow was so much, so deep when my daddy died, but well, thanks to you, I'm still alive today. No problem. Hmm? So that means, uh, friends forever. No. No, for the life. Friends forever. Friends forever. And then... Agumba. Yeah, let's be yourself. Mm -hmm. Agumba. Ago. <laughs> Agumba. Agumba. Okay. I'm gone. Hey, Ago. Because I'm you know, if I come in nice with you, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, my mom will understand very soon. I will wear the first shirt and come to your house. <laughs> I hope they fit. Uh, we're about the same size now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, can I keep the bag? Keep the bag. Hey, you I can keep the, the bag. You're the only friend I so you can, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the bag. No one has been this close to me. You were like my brother. What is wrong now? You cannot bring any into this house. Not while I'm alive. Oh no, no, it cannot happen. You better wait for me to die first. Yes. Mama, these clothes are not for any, they are for me. He gave them to me. Uh -huh. Mama, leave my bag. He gave you expensive rags, right? <laughs> I said, let go of this bag. Let go of it. See, I want to take it back to any and his mother. We don't want their gift. We are not destitute. Come on, don't have this. I said, let me handle. Come on, I will break it up. Listen, if you want to be a beggar, before a serpent that Leon my will be husband and wife and his son. I don't want to be one. What will happen? Keep all of these clothes from me. Hmm? Hmm. I'll wear anything from the house, come here and change anything I want to go out. Hmm. Yeah? And when any of them gets dirty, I wash it for you. <laughs> like your future wife. <laughs> yeah, my wife already, my wife. Uh -huh. hmm. When you see any, thank him well for me. Yeah. Yes, yes, you need you need to thank him. He's doing too much already. Apart from these clothes and the constant money he sends me. Do you remember the money I gave you for your plant? The plant you're using in your salon? Mm-hmm. Now, how can I forget such a huge amount? And he gave me the money. He sent me the money from abroad. Really? Hmm? Oh! Chuku Gozienya! Million food. He's such a good man. Let me take this bag inside. Be careful. It's a designer Be bag. Be careful. A mother has torn one hand already. Mm. Uh, so. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. Shall I make food for you? I thought you would never ask. Eh? You were just watching me look at you all this time. You know what my problem is now? <laughs> Give me a salad soup. Eh? Pound the deer and we're pounded. My fish. Just the way you like it. Godly! <laughs> my husband! <laughs> then, uh, who guys get it? Never had another. No one has been this close. Brandy, good morning. Good morning, Lucia. How are you? I'm yeah, fine. What brings you to my house this early morning? Brandy, my name is Big Boy. <laughs> my name is Big Boy. Look at you. Look at you. Hmm? Are you coming inside? Uh, has Mama finished cooking? Because I'm hungry. You know, everybody in this village is my mother. Don't worry, she's still preparing the soup. Hmm? But you can come in. Come on. I brought a message from 
block all the lay. See that she said he's waiting for you at the roadside to Umu Ileri. And he wants you to come there now. Did he tell you anything is the matter? No, he didn't say anything. All right. Come in, let me just change. I'll meet him up. Hmm? When will he come now? Eh? When will he come? Stop yawning now. Keep your composure. What is your problem? I want to show you off to my friend. Be yawning like that, like you don't have food in your stomach. Like I don't feed you well. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Uh -uh. Cordelia. Is everything all right? Yeah. I mean, you sending the little boy to my house to tell me to meet you here instead of you coming over to my house or inviting me to yours. And you, you know what the problem is? You know, our mother's at war. I can't come to your house, you can't come to mine and have peace. So I decided we meet here so I introduce you to somebody. Oh, so would that be right to say that this is our future wife, Diana? <laughs> you guessed right. Eh? Diana. Yeah. Meet my brother from another mother. Good morning. Any, the bedrock of all my success. Eh? I've heard a lot about you. Hardly a day goes by without him talking about you. Thank you all for everything you have done for him and what you are to him. Thank you. You've been talking too much. <laughs> You've been talking too much. So, Diana, well, it's good. It's good. It's really my pleasure to, to have met you at last. Thank you. Uh, but I must say, you flatter me just a little yeah. too much. And I never want to deal with praises. Mm -hmm. well, what is the praises here? It's reality. Eh? What hasn't he done for me is my friend and brother rode in one. Mm -hmm. He opened the shop for me. He mm -hmm. gives me money all the time. He supports everything I do. Hey, he's, he's, he's my only nice. He's enough, he's enough. You know what? Why don't we just all go somewhere now and get a drink? Uh, it's a good idea, but uh, <laughs> the mind is willing, but uh, the pocket is weak, yeah? Come on, I have enough money for three of us. Money. It's okay. always gone. <laughs> right. It's always the You're right. right. You're right. Let's Let's go. Go. She's beautiful, isn't she? She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> They are coming. Mm. And mommy, good morning. Good morning. Um, are you expecting any visitor this morning? Mm -mm. Is anybody looking for me? There's a girl at the gate. All right, I'll just uh, change up. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. I was wondering who would be looking for me. So, um, did uh, Cordelia send you? Uh, no, uh, Cordelia did not send me. Uh, in fact, he doesn't know I'm here. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I need uh, some help. I need some money. I, it's my, I, I have two hair dryers in the salon. But now one is spoiled and only one is working. And it's really affecting my business badly. My customers, they are going to other salons for faster service. I, I you, you know, Cotley does not have money. But you are his friend, you have money. So I said, let me try. Let me come and beg you to assist me. I just want to buy a, just one second hand dryer. Then that, that is it. Please. How um, how much does it cost? I mean, a second hand dryer. Yeah, about fifteen thousand naira. And a brand new one? Ah, no, but I don't want a brand new one. Hmm. God, did you ask me where I got the money from, and uh, he he will know. So I, I just buy a, a second hand one, and I'll replace it with the bad one, and he won't know the difference. 
You don't you don't want Cody to know I gave you money? Why? I mean he's uh he's like a brother to me, why would he mind? Ah <laughs> Cody Lee will mind though. <laughs> he will kill me. He will <laughs> He will say I went behind his back. I, I came to ask you for money. You know you men and your pride, very strong pride. He will know. This is a second hand one. He's alright. Um, I'll get you some money. Just wait here for me. Really? Oh, thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you. I won't be a second. Thank okay? Thank you. Ah, big boy. Sister Dinah, good morning. Oh, big boy. Are you awake this morning? Uh, I'm looking for Brian. He promised to give me biscuits. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's coming. He's inside. Okay. Um, Sister Diana, what of brother called Lizzie here? To no, <laughs> he's not here. He's in the shop, but he's fine. He's fine. I made it uh, 25,000 naira because I figured you will uh, need some extra cash for your transport to the city and back. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Come on. Come on, Dinah. God bless Dinah, you. don't do this. Can you just... okay. Thank you. Nam Goziegi. Thank you very much. You're a right. good man. You're good. All right. Thank you. Now just uh, run along, all right? And put your business back in shape. Thank you very much. Thank you. Help. Foreign biscuits to sell to you and the I don't have time for all these things. I just go pick up. We'll talk later. I'm busy. I just open shop. Mm. What's this? Where did you get those biscuits from? The normal price in the market is 400 naira. But I'll sell to you at 150 naira each. Then you sell for 450. You make profit of uh, 300 naira. So you pay me 450 for the three and make 900 naira profit. So, you're a businessman now, eh? Okay. Since you're a businessman, tell me where you got the biscuits from. Do you manufacture biscuits now? Or where did you steal the biscuits from? Because you don't call me a thief, because I'm not a thief. These biscuits were given to me by Brian. Thank God Sister Diana was there this morning. She was, she was there when I came to collect these biscuits. Sister Diana was where? In any house when you came to collect the biscuits? Yes. She's my witness about these biscuits. So let's do business. 450. My friend, shut up and, and carry that, that, that contraband out of here. I said, get out! Stop shouting. Stop, stop shouting. I, I did not go to any house. I've answered you before. Which shouting? Which, which, I've answered shouting. When I start shouting, you will know now. Because I will join you to some other things and you know. So I'm asking you right now. What did you go to do in the any house? Did I send you there? What did you go behind my back to go and do in any house? What did you go to see him for? What are both of you hiding? I don't know what my going to his house or not going to his house or why it has become an issue for you. Eh? He's your friend, is he not? Well, oh, if, if he's my friend, that is the reason why you go behind his, my back and go and greet my friend. Eh? What are you going to do there? What are two of you hiding? Eh? Dana, am I not asking you? 
You want me to use my backhand to, to, to loosen your tongue? I went to greet him. Oh, you went to greet him? Did he beg? Oh, you are now a tank cry, you go from door to door to greet people. Is that how it is now? Eh? A full bodied man will be in his house, you go and start greeting him. Did he beg you to greet him? What did you go to greet him? Good morning, good afternoon, or good night? Which one? Which one did he? I'm talking to you, am I not talking to you? All I know is I was, I was, I was just passing uh, by his house. I, I said, let me stop and, and greet him. And he said, I, I should send you his regards. Mm. Take trouble. Take trouble. You went to greet somebody that's in his house. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go and find out what happened. I will get to the bottom of this thing by the end of today. And God will help you when I get back. Go and find out. I am not lying. So there's nothing for you to find out. I'm not lying. Who say you're lying? Mm, come on, be asking somebody something with, with strong voice. I was afraid now. Um, you, you're not lying. You're, you, you, what? Because you're afraid. Diana, do you know what fear is? Have you ever been afraid in your life? Don't you go and do whatever you want to do and face the consequences later. That is your habit now. You're you're, 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 look at you. You're tell, you're tell my brother. You just deny now that you didn't go to his house. Now the truth has come and you went to greet him. Good morning. Wait, let me find All I know is I went to greet him. I don't know when that one became a problem. You are going by your neighbors as you greet. Good morning, good, good afternoon, good night. Eh? How many of in, your neighbors have you greeted yet, Diana? In the school, they teach you when you pass your neighbors and you greet, you can't. No, no, no they, they, that is your mouth. You, you, you can't. You can. I went to greet him. Finish. There's something I want to ask you, but I don't want to talk in front of mother because you know how they feel about our friendship. Okay. Did Diana come here or not? No. Then I did not come here. She told me she came here. Well, I guess it's right. She was here this morning. You see, I don't understand this thing. I don't understand it at all, at all. Diana said she didn't come here. Later, she said she came here. You, you say she didn't come here. And now you're saying she came here. What is happening between both of you? Holy. Your girl was here, that's all I can tell you. As to the reason why she came here, I can't say that. Why would you tell me? You're my best friend, why would you tell me? You couldn't really ask your girl, she would tell you why she came here. Why would you, you know why you won't tell me? Because we're between. I see what is happening. You think I don't see? Because I have a school sat and I live in a village, and you're the city boy with all the money. You think I'm stupid? You guys... I don't touch me! You think this is funny? It's just, I'm not stupid. I know what is happening. You think you can come and collect my girl with all your fine boy and, re and rich and money and all that? Okay, no problem. I know what is happening. You're not a true friend, you're a betrayer. You're a fake friend. Don't you think you're jumping the conclusion so fast? Let me tell you, grandma will, no, 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 grandma will... Don't touch me. Don't do that one. Don't do that one. You think grandma will solve this one on money? What is coming up with you? Fine, no problem. You've, you've showed me who you are for real now. I must be an idiot thinking with all the class difference between us, you, you, we can be friends. Well, you're acting all all this time, all your scheme was just to steal my Diana. You're getting it all wrong. It is not going to work. Yeah? Can it is say? not going to work. Let me Let just me say, my, my mother was right. My mother was right about your family. Serpent beget serpent. You're not a true friend. You just scream and talk and yell, you wouldn't let me say one thing. Why don't you just hear me out? I can't tell him the reason why she came here. That's because she pleaded with me not to tell. She said it will hurt his ego. But now his imagination is running wild and carefree in all the wrong directions. And I do not know how to handle this this new sense of inferiority that he's got. Sometimes I'm tempted to tell him. But I promise not to tell. And a promise is a promise. I still can't tell. She must tell him herself. She must tell him the truth. I mean, this is nonsense. Eh? No one should put you on the spot because of your kindness. Mom, if he gets to know that she came here to beg me for money, he probably end up even more hot than he is already. Then what will happen? But he should know that you have no eye for his skill. Eh? How can he even assume a thing like that? 
doesn't he know that you've been around? Of all the girls you've seen in the city and everywhere, is a village hairdresser you will fall for. Hey, it's shocking the way these gutter people and peasants think. That's why I have sang it like a ballad into your ears. Leave Cordelia and his friendship alone, Ernie. Whenever you return to the village, stay in your late father's house. Visit few people. Know your route. Make no friends with anybody. If you miss with gutter people, see wage water must splash on you. Mommy, I do not. I do not share your views. Meaning? Me, I don't believe any people are gutter people. I mean, some people may not just be as fortunate as others. It doesn't mean they are gutter people, you know? The problem is I don't even know how to tell them. If I do, he might break up with her and I blame myself for that. And that won't be good at all. I just want you to get out of this mess. That girl better goes out there and tells the truth. Or else she will face me. Tell her. You know, what you're doing is coming between two friends and pulling them apart. And stupid me, I don't even have the heart to go against my word which I gave you and go to Cordelia and tell him myself. And I hate myself for that. I mean, the more you linger on telling him the truth, the worse things will get. And that's not cool at all. Now you make it sound as if I'm a devil. Eh? That makes me miserable. I've tried to tell him, believe me, but... I don't know how to. See, Dinah, you must find a way to tell him. Or he'll keep on assuming that you and I are hating on each other. I mean, this has been going on since yesterday, and that's enough. God knows. God knows it is not my wish to cause problem between both of you. I, I just had a problem, eh? I had a need, and you were the only one I could think of to help me. Maybe I should just return the money. I'll return the money now. Then all this whole problem will just stop. stop <laughs> Alright, stop crying. I'm, I'm sure it will be solved somehow. It's alright. Oh, let me just return the money. Let me return the money. Let me give you the money back. You know, that will make things worse. I mean, the money is the only reason to explain, the only proof that we got that we can use to explain why you came to my house. Now, if you return the money, the proof is lost. All right, stop crying. It's all right. Stop crying. Just, just tell him. That's what. Just... I've tried. I've tried. Believe me, I've tried to tell him. Do you want me to go tell him? Mm -hmm. I will tell him myself. I will tell him. I've... When? Are Soon. You... I. I will tell him. I will tell him. Just tell him, find a way, something, just explain, you know. Any, I'm really sorry. I will tell him today. I didn't mean to put you through all this. It's eh? alright. Don't flog yourself too much. Things like this happen all the time. Yeah? You won't hate me for this. Nope. <laughs> Why should I hate you for this? Uh... You see, eh? that my friend Cordelia, he loves you so, so much. Every time we're together, he goes, Diana this, Diana that. I like the way she smiles. I like the way she cooks for me. Oh, Diana that. I'm like, Diana what? I love him too. He's my first and only love. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Hey, hold that there. Just hold that there! Hold that there! Hey, so hold your hand! Hold your hand together! Hold your hand though! Oh. So this is, what, this is what has been happening. This is what has been happening. And you, really? you just so put your better shot up there. You Kisbel. You Delilah. Jezebel. Witch! Oh wait, 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 wait. It's even now that I know. Eh, uh -huh. Dana, Dana, is that not the same woman that separated two men in the land of Canaan? You've come to this present day to do the same thing. Eh? Don't trust you. Shut up, who are you? Trust you? Do I know who you are? Are you not the one that has saved in that river? Oh, after saving you, come with your fine boy and your money to come and steal my girl. God, eh? shut up for once and listen. Listen! You witch. 
Là, il y a eu un méchant hein? Oh, you want to protect her now? The new man wants to protect you. Eh? Please, calm down. I forget my brother. Godi, stop this. I need you. Better don't get back to you. Say you want to. Godi, leave. I'm being greedy. I'm being respectful. Huh? Friendship. Which one? My friend. If if your man is not coming back, I'm going to kill you. Godi, leave. Which one? God, did you stop this? I'll stop this. Stop pushed, this for me. He pushed me back. I went to his house to collect money from him. I collected money from him because I wanted to buy a new air flyer. Now you know. God, did you stop this? God, did you stop this? My husband is dead, Carol. And he's resting in peace. Do not use the name of a dead man in vain, Carol. Or I shall cry to his spirit and you shall bear the consequence. Eh? Hey, why don't you start crying now? What is holding your mouth? Start crying now, now. Look at her mouth. Twisted, wicked mouth. Painted devil like you. Hey! Beware! Disrespect! Consequences! So much drama! That is what you used to confuse. Alozie, the rich timber, timber merchant. And, and he left me for you. Look at you. Do you think I have forgotten? The day I came to his house and I found you naked on his bed. And he slapped the daylight out of you, didn't he? He slapped the daylight out of you for barging into his room without knocking. Your mannerlessness did not start today, Carol. And the stealing blood in your family did not start today. Look at you. Arabanko. No, she love. Oburo Obolaga! Whoa! That is what you are! A mafia! Now that your son has taken what belongs to my son, I hope he is not happy. And I hope he will stop coming to my house pretending that he is my son's friend. Do you have a son? Oh, oh. You call that in a son? My son is somebody. Yes. Your son is nothing. And please, stop equating that thing you call a son to my son. If you call that semi-educated village river a son, obviously you need this to your head be examined, Carol. Yes. True. Did it, I just hear you call my son a thing? Yes. Your son is a thing. Annie is somebody. Cordly is nobody. Today and forever. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Are you his god? Are you called this God? So today, you call my son a thing, a nobody, a boy I carried in my womb for nine good months and, and suffered childbirth to deliver. You called him a nobody, a pin. I don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to say. Please, please, at my own time. Yes, and in my own way. Please carry oh, your smelling self out of this my face and out of my gate. Got that. That's what Got that. Slaughter! That's what we are! Slaughter! You're suffering from concombility. You think I don't know big English too? Concombility, I'm off your stupid, 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 educated. Educated what? They, what are those ones? I've forgotten the word. It's idiot! Idiot! Of what you are. <laughs> <laughs> I have always said, living a 
alone in your late parents' compound years after they are gone and long after your elder sister got married. It's a very lonely life. Eh? You and Codley should hurry and get married, though. Ma, good morning. Uh -huh. Good morning, my daughter in law. I know that you and Codley are quarreling, and I have come to find out why. Eh? I want you to come find in me. Now, come, come, come tell me what is going on. Hmm? Ma, you know how our men are. You know, very proud and, and protective of, of their women. Mm. For these reasons, I did not tell Cordelie the real reason behind my visit to Annie's house, which is what I have just told you, to ask him for money. And he did not touch me, he did not do anything, not at all. He was very nice to me, very nice. He gave me the money and I left. Finish, finish. That is all. Mm. Yeah. You see now, eh? False accusation. I know that that young man is a very nice person. He wouldn't touch you. Now listen, eh? listen to me. I will solve the problem with my son. Hmm? This matter has died here and now. I don't want you to discuss it with him again. But even if he raises, it, he raises the matter, hmm? I will explain to him what you have explained to me. And his anger will pass away. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Let me get you water to drink. Oh, oh thank you very much. Just don't worry yourself. Mm. It is well. God, Diana did not tell you the truth about her visit to any. She went on his invitation. It was any who invited her to his house. Thinking nothing of it, she went. Eh? When the fool started to touch her and she turned him down, he became guilty and gave her a bribe of 25,000 naira to buy anything of her choice. Who told you this, man? Diana told me. She's had broken. She, 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 she even begged me not to tell you, knowing your temper. Eh? Any try to force Diana. Mm -hmm. Mama, I don't believe this story. Any can do it now. You better believe it too. I say you better believe it. Do you live in the city? Do you know their ways? Eh? Family is nothing in the big cities. Friendship is nothing. Only people's desires count. People do what they like. They are selfish people. Hawks. Crooked people. Eh? Serpents in disguise. Uh, and he tried to force Diana. She, she didn't tell me all this time. Let, 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 me, let me talk to Diana. Let me get more details. Let me, let me really try to understand what happened. Uh, uh, uh. See, I don't want you to disturb her for that. With your request for details. I don't want that. I thought I knew him, Mama. You know, to try to take another person's girl and she goes with her own free will. There's no problem. Or to force her against her will. Somebody I consider my best friend. But that's wickedness. So. I saw them hugging the other day in, in the house. Hey, that was the day he came to beg her again not to tell you. Didn't you say she was upset that day? Didn't you? Hi! The poor girl. She must have gone through a lot. Eh? Hiding his sins. Eh? Trying to protect your friendship with him. And almost losing you in the process. But, Anyway, I came to tell you, eh? You have to start planning what to do to that enemy before an each turns into a boy. Anyway, when you return in the evening, in the evening we shall talk about it, eh? I'm going. Uh, come, come. Pull yourself together now. See, there's something I want to tell you. 
revenge is sweeter than offense. Think about it. Eh? God, Do you know how much I bought this clothes for? Yes. Hey, if you put your hand, I'm telling you, I will burn you with the clothes. I will burn you with the clothes. Look at him, which I will burn him with it. Hey! He's <laughs> blessed. Look, at, you've been buying me fake clothes all this time, all in name of designers, because I've not been abroad before. And, and as for this stupid trouser, look at, look at, see, too tight, too tight for my man. I'm going to return this useless trouser for you. I mean, I bought him this clothes. Does he know how much this clothes cost me? You think I care? It's okay. Better hold your son home. I will do to him what I did to this clothes now. Waka! Me, Waka. Eh? Use this one, Waka. Have you not cost enough damage? Why don't you just pull that one as well and burn it? Eh? I'll go home. You see, you. You want me to go home again? You're burning clothes. Pull that one as well. You're still wearing my trousers, you know? It's okay. Things like this happen. Eh? We shouldn't always hope to meet with gratitude for the good we have done. But I am happy that it happened. At least this is goodbye to godly friendship. This is goodbye to gutters. It's okay. Mom, is that why you came here and burned? It's okay. We're close. Leave godly alone. Let's go. But I, I, I prefer you should have told me yourself. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But well, you already hurt my feelings. Look, look at what he did. It's his fault. He did nothing wrong. It's his fault. Stop defending him. I know you. This thing has been bad, and you're just trying to change the topic or something. But it, it's his fault. It was my fault. I, I went to him. Stop this thing. You know what, let's just, let, let, let's change the topic. Yeah, let's just change the topic. I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't tell you. You know you men and your pride. Please forgive me. I can even return the money if you want me to. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I just, I just would want to put this thing behind me. Ah, it's his fault, I'm telling you. I don't care what you say, it's his fault. Let's just leave it like that. Thank you for your understanding. I love you too, Cordelia, and I'm really sorry I hurt your pride. But I, I, I just, I just needed.
today. Hello. Uh, I've been hanging around there, hoping that your mother will soon go out, so that I can come and see you. Because I know she will not like to see me around you or near your house, because of the trouble I've already caused. I guess you're right. My mother doesn't want to see you at all. But she's gone out now. Uh, I saw her go out. So how are you? I'm fine. Uh, Cordelia and I, we have settled our problem. That's good to know. Honey, please, both of you have to be friends again. Find a way to talk to him. I'm not happy with what is happening. I'm not happy at all. And you think I haven't tried? I, I try to talk to him every time. He just doesn't want to listen to me. The other day he came to this house yesterday. Guess what he did? What did he do? He burnt all the clothes that I had given to him as gifts. I mean, those clothes were supposed to be my clothes. I gave them to him as a present. He came here and he burnt all of them. What? Now, how do I continue insisting on being friends with such a person? He took those clothes from my house. That day he saw you with me and then he chased me down the road. He came here and he burnt those clothes. He did even worse. Help. He's parked in front of my mom insolently. All because I begged you for money and I did not tell him. And you, you, you gave me the money without telling him. But this is strange. He doesn't even want me to talk about the matter to make him see reason. All he says is I'm trying to defend you. Eh? I find it strange as well. I find it really very strange. But what can I do? Uh, I will live in the village anyway very soon. I live in about three days from now. So he will breathe easy when I leave. You're living in three days? Yeah. Break is over. I'm, I have to get back to work. You know, traveling as usual. Filming man and nature for the channel that I work for. If you're living in three days, then I have to go and see him in the house. You people have to be friends again. You have to settle this thing or my heart will not be at rest. See, Diana, I'm, I'm really tired of all this. Suit yourself. I went to the shop. It was closed. I didn't feel like going today. I have a lot on my mind. It has to do with any not so. You see? You are not happy. Both of you should try and settle this. What? Part. What did you say? Segini? You better just shut up your mouth there. Shut your big mouth there. Because nobody invited you in this case. Yeah? Nobody invited you. Do you really want me to settle with that pretender? God, you are What is the matter again? What is the matter? At this big mouth. You want to settle what is between men. Eh? You are the village chief now. This problem between Ernest and himself, it has lingered too long. I only begged him that they should try and settle it. That's all. Diana, didn't I tell you not to put your mouth in that matter again? Didn't I tell you not to raise it or discuss anything concerning it with him again? That I will solve it myself, didn't I? Eh? Mama, you did, but where is the time to solve it? And he is returning to the city in three days' time. Eh? It won't be good if he leaves and then they don't settle the matter. They are both men of this village and enmity is not good between them. The future is very deep. They may meet each other one day. That's all I'm saying. Go home. I suggest you go home. Let him not come back and meet you here. If he does, his anger will get worse. Please, try and solve the matter. I will. I will. I will. Don't worry. Please tell me not to be angry. I will. I will. I will. I will. Your son is a thing. Annie is somebody. Cordley is nobody. Today and forever. You. May I be cursed upon the face of this earth if I forgive you, Joe. If I forgive you those words, he said.
will send you on an errand. And I will give you money if you let no one hear about it. Will you do it? You will. Okay, come on. Cordelie's mother told me to run quickly and call you. Uh, she wants to settle the matter between you and uh, Cordelie before he goes out. So she said you should, you should come quickly. You know what? Come. Run to her, huh? Tell her I'll be there in 30 minutes. My mom is still around. I don't want her to know I'm going out. Take go. Go now. But I, I want to go and play. What is wrong with you? Be a good boy. Go and tell her first. There you go. Yeah, Quick. Shut the gate. Ah, oh, Annie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You know, you made good your word. You said you were gonna talk them into inviting me for a talk, and now they have. I was actually on my way to their house. I I figured I should branch in here and let you know, since uh, I'm sure you're the one that talked them into inviting me. And I mean, your house is on my way to their house. I am so relieved. You have made me so happy with this piece of news. Hell, thank God. Well, anyway, I have to go now. I just thought I should let you know. I'm off. Please, when you settle, when everything is over, let us all go for a peace drink. You, me, and Cordily. Hmm. Please, a heavy burden has been lifted off my shoulder. No, 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 no. Don't worry, we all go for the drink together. Please, we huh? must. Yeah? Yes. So, I'm off. Thanks, I'm off. Bye-bye. I don't know what has come over you and your friend Cordelie. I, I kept begging him to wait till you come. But he hurried out, saying that he wanted to quickly attend to a few customers and then rush back. I think you should wait for him. Mm. And while waiting, let me prepare something for you to eat. Uh, no, Mama, don't bother. I had breakfast already. Uh, uh, what about a drink? We have beer in the house. Or do you prefer a soft drink? No, no, I'm, I'm really fine. I'm fine, really. I'm okay. <sighs> it's like you don't want to take anything in our house. And we are talking about peace. Is it because I quarreled with your mother? No, it's really, I'm fine. It's not because of that. I mean, if it's because of that, I won't even be here. <sighs> okay, oh. If it's because I quarreled with your mother, Never mind us, we are women. <laughs> we say all sorts of things to each other while we are quarreling. But eventually we do settle. Hmm? Okay, let me, let me just have water then. Oh, water? Yeah. Okay, I have that one. <laughs> I have a lot of water. Uh, let me bring water for you. Okay. Eh? Since that is the only thing you want to take. Cordily, ah, you are in the shop. I was on my way to the salon and I saw your shop open. Diana, what else should I do? Any is in your house for the peace talk now. Which nonsense peace talk? Who is it? Any? Is this United Nations? What is he peace talking for? After trying to steal you from me. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Who said he did that? Eh? I think I don't know. Mother told me how you confided in her that any, any, any tried, tried to steal you from me. Hell, Cordily, that is a lie. My God, nothing like that happened. I only went to beg him for money and he gave me and I, I begged him that he should not tell you. Because I know your pride now, you know how you men are. Nothing, that was it. 
Why are you defending me? Hey! Cordily, wake up! If your mother had told you what you just said to me now, then huh, that means she has great hatred for uh, any. And she's fanning the fire of enmity between the two of you. I didn't know that's what you've been thinking. Hey, my God. I'm confused now. Cordily, do you know that it is your mother who invited Annie to your house this morning for the peace talk? Do you know? Hey! Come, come. Your mother is up to something. I think your mother is up to something. Lock your shop or get somebody to watch it for you. Let us go to your house and find out what is happening. Let us go now. Hey! Um, Osondo, please watch my shop for me. I'm coming now. should go and look for Godly. Maybe he doesn't want to come back. Eh? I, I, you know, my son, my, my son is very stubborn. I, I suggest you go home, my dear. Eh? We can postpone this stop till evening. Okay, ma, I think that will even be better. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me be on my way now. Okay, so let me go and dress up and look for him. Eh? Please okay. greet your mother for me. I will, I will. Uh -huh. Okay, ma. Bye-bye. Okay, ma. Any, <laughs> any. weeks ago, we lost one of our most illustrious and beloved ones, Enes Bonisa, fondly called Eni by all of us. We cried, we buried him, and we mourned. According to doctors who checked him, Enes was poisoned. They searched for the people who killed him has led to accusations pointing of fingers and the knives. Finally, from the mouth of the little orphan, Uche, popularly called Big Boy by all of us, came the truth that Karo here actually invited Eni to her house on that fateful day. Dinah, the hairdresser, also confirmed this, as Eni branched in her house on that day before going on to Karo's house. Still, Karo has continued to deny her guilt. We, the elders of this clan, have therefore, 
they are to the voice of June and his mother, saying that Karu should sway before the great and formidable deity Amadioa, and she will rest her case. Yes. And today, we have come to do that. Ezemo, mm. I hand over to you. Caroline, step forward and take the oath. If you are guilty and swear, you will be struck instantly right here and die. Amadioha is a messless deity when it comes to evil doers. Are you ready? Woman, drink this. It will fortify you from any cold you take. I've fasted for you. No harm shall come to you. Maybe. Yes, I'm ready. Take this off for the swearing old stick. Raise it up and swear. Amadioha, the great and merciless deity, I have no hand in the death of my son's best friend, Ernest Olisa. If I am innocent, let me go free from here. But if I am guilty, do what you are known for. Strike me. My son die in vain. <laughs> Do not let my son die unavenged. Please, Amadio, speak and make a name for himself. <laughs> my dear, stop wasting your time. My innocence has gone before Amadio. He has set me free. Elders, I am gone. Hardly, let's go. fence and, and low fence. You see, 
high fence is, 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 can come between friends and, and it can come between nations even. High, high fence is, it can only be, be solved by war. But, but like, like what is in, in, in Iran, in, in, um, in, in Palestine, in, in, in America. That, that, that's high fence. It, it can only be solved by machine gun fire. Like, it, it can only be solved by, by, by killing. That, that, that is high fence. It's, it's, it's everything, everything that happened between friends is, is high fence and low fence. You see, but, but between me and you, it, 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 was, it was a small fence, it was, it was low fence. Because low fence can, can, can be solved by dialogue. Talking, that's all. So the, pro the problem is, when did we stop talking? Or, or no, uh, when, when, it, it should be, when, when, when did you stop talking? And, and, and why, why did I stop listening? Because you kept talking. When, when did, why, why did I stop listening to you? You kept talking and I, 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 did, I did not want to listen. Why? Because I, 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 don't, I, I don't understand why I did not listen to you. You see, the problem is tragedy. Tragedy is the child of, of a talking mouth and a closed ear. Yes. Why didn't you get me to listen? Huh? You know I always listen. We talked about everything. We talked about your life and your travels. And me, I, I, I talked about my love and my life. I should have listened. But I guess you're in a better place now. Even though you blame me. Cordially, when will you stop this? You have been like this since your friend died. Huh? For heaven's sake, do you want to continue like this and die yourself and leave me alone here? Well, no, no, I brought you food. Today you will shave. You will take a bath. You will shave. You will open your shop and you can sell money your friend. Let me see the food. You were the only friend I had. Never had another. No one has been this close to me You are like my brother I wish that I could see you once again To tell you that I'm sorry For letting you down For turning my back on you I'm so cold I need you here, I need you by my side To keep me warm company you, there is no me without you. I cannot create. I need you here, I need you by my side. It's it, eh? To keep me I don't want you to die of hunger. Without you, there is no me without you. I cannot Face coins you will have, and I will still have. Hey, how can I live with joy? Now, this is my yellow. You know what yellow reminds me of? <laughs> Do you know termite? You know termite on the ground. This eba reminds me of human brain. And then uh, I think of Tama is eating human brain. Oh. Uh, then I think of my friend in the grave. Oh. And Tama is uh, eating his brain. And you want me to eat? Please, eat. Man, eat human brain. God, please eat a little. Eh? 
like you did yesterday. Please, please eat. Please. I don't want to. Hey! I don't eat you, I'm brains. Huh? I'm brains! Now, please calm down. If I were you, I would leave me alone. Godly, what are you trying to do? To take your life? <laughs> Though the dead ones are not back yet. Are you playing with death? Death is not a game. Will you drop that rope and come down? Godly, I said, come down, drop Godly, that rope I and come down. down. Help me beg him to come down. Please. Let's find a way to bring please him down. down. Come down. Come down. Drop that Hi. rope and come down. Jesus said in the Bible to the crying mothers, He said, Weep not for me, but for yourselves. So go and weep for yourselves. Leave me alone. Let's talk. Remember what the Bible says about those who take their life. If you take the, your life, you will go to hell fine. Please, please, Cody, please, don't take your life, please. You think I care? Look at me, I'm already in hell. Hmm? Him yet. He may have broken his leg. No. Eh? What are you going to do? You can't just leave him here now. We have to take him away from him now. I said don't leave him yet. Let me examine his leg. Oh! 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 Lucky, considering the height which he fell from. Uh, hi. Mm. Sorry. No. Mm. No. Mm. No. Mm. No. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. 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 See, he has to lie down here and get a lot of rest. Okay. Yeah? Mm. In a few weeks, you see, you'll be moving around with a. He'll be free to move without a walking stick. But in the meantime, let him use this walking stick. Anytime he wants to go to toilet or... Uh, uh, I understand. Yes. I will come and see him about, let me say, a day after tomorrow. Okay, By that so. time, his swelling must have uh, subsided. Eh? Mm. Right. 
Take care of him. Huh? Always try to give him water to drink. He needs plenty of water. I will and find him. Then because this thing is very hot. Okay, sir. Yeah? If you don't do it, he will not be comfortable. Mm. And then try to rub your hand, mm. you know, mm. you know, so that um, his body will be cool. Mm. Like I said, I'll come. Let me see. Day after tomorrow, mm. huh? I'll come and see. He'll be all right. Okay. Huh? Yeah, look at look after him very well. Though. All right. See. Mm -hmm. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. Sir, <coughs> please. Is there... Everything's going to be all right. Or oh, there's something you're hiding you don't want to see there. No, 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 no. no. Don't be afraid. Uh -huh. Everything's all right. He's all right, though. You see that, there? Mm. In two or three weeks, that's when your uncle would have gone down. Okay. Eh? And then um, the sprain the muzzle ligament would have healed. See, my only problem is that he doesn't try to harm himself again. Hmm. You know he's depressed over the loss of his best friend. You were very close, sir. Mm -hmm. His friend was one who opened a shop for him. Oh. And even before his death, he was such a solid rock behind Cordelia. You see? Depression should be expected. It should be expected. It's not everybody that can, can get over the loss of uh, somebody very close to him. You understand that? And that's depression, a very bad situation. When they become depressed, they hardly talk to anybody. They keep to themselves. It's either they become talkatives or they don't talk at all to anybody, preferring to talk to themselves. Some of them sometimes resort to drinking, hoping to drown their sorrows and pains in alcohol. Huh. I know this girl. She lost her parents, her brothers, and sisters in one accident in one day. Hey. And today she is a uh, drunk. God forbid. Hi. Cuddly's case will not be like that. Mm. I say, God forbid. He will get out of this depression. He must. Amen. Amen. Ha. I, madam, I <laughs> agree. And I we hope and pray. It's just that we have to treat him. You need rest. You should be lying down. What are you two discussing? The strong man himself. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Hi. You're already up, eh? It's about your welfare, my son. Shut up. I was not talking to you. Nugo, I was not talking to you. What are you people discussing behind my back? Hmm? This old cow we say is my welfare. Think I don't know? I might be feverish, but I'm not stupid. I see very well. And my love sees too. My love is not blind. Because you're here discussing how you're going to run away with this old cow. And leave me behind in my condition. Hey. Isn't that what you're planning? Eh? Diana, isn't that what you're planning? Please, sir. Uh, uh, explain things explain to him. Explain what? Hey, shut up. I was not talking to you. I was not talking to you. I'm talking to my woman. Let me tell you. I know what you're planning. You're planning to come outside here and run with him. Look at him all this time. He's rubbing my leg. Pretending to heal me. Rubbing, rubbing pepper and clay on my leg, increasing my suffering. And all that time, his other hand was on your breast, my side. Hey! Hmm? Cordily! Cordily what? Oh, because I, I, I've opened up your, both of you now, you, you're shouting my name. I know what I'm saying. Hmm? This man is trying to help you. Help you. I will help you. If I see you, you this go on the eh? Taking my, my fiance outside to talk to her, eh? behind my back, I will, I will, I will, I will give you a reason to use clear on your head. I will smash your head. to help you. Hey. Help me. Don't come back here. Do not come back here. Because all you do is take one eye and, and keep on my girl. And the other eye, you're, 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 you Oh, you're crying. You're crying because your lover is leaving, eh? I'm not crying for him, I'm crying for you. You're crying for me. Don't wait till I'm dead before you start crying. That's a good reason to cry. Stop shedding those crocodile tears, you're not moving anybody. Nonsense. I'm crying because you're letting the sorrow of your friend's death destroy you and you should not. This man is trying to help you. 
You have chased him away. How will you get well? Well, the solution is simple. Go and find me a female healer. At least a female healer will, 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 will not increase the problem. Except you go and find those ones that are, that are caused with the devil of looking at other women. Okay, that one is another problem. I'm sure you know that. What are you still looking for here? Go inside, Joe. Get inside the house. They need to help you. Look, look, look at the, the, the choice you, you're running away with. Him. And hey, 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 my friend, come back here. Come and wash off this nonsense. I don't know what you put on my leg. Maybe it's a way to fire up our lives. So you're you will run away. So you're upset with me because I drove a hawk away from you, right? If you cannot stand other men talking to me, why don't you just marry me at once? Will that stop the hawks? At least it will give you confidence. The knowledge that you own me and I belong to you. No. No. What is no? No, I will not marry you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> is that a joke? My friend that died, did he get any chance to marry? We caused his death. And yet you want us to enjoy, is that not so? Cordially, if you will not marry me, I will leave you. Huh? I will leave you. Stop talking nonsense. You will not dare. Then what do you want me to do? You will not marry me. You will not let me go. What am I supposed to be doing with my life? Hanging between uh, uh, not being married, uh, uh, being single. You will do as duty bound you to. You will stay with me. Stay with you. Engage forever. You will stay with me. And suffer. Drink this. Take it and drink, please. Hey! Can I tell you? Whoa! What is wrong? Is it too bitter? God forbid, God forbid, the woman. How can you, he says, it's only bitterness that is the problem now. This thing is not well cooked. This thing is not well cooked. This woman, where did you get this thing from now? Godly, were you not the one who said I should go and bring you a female native healer? I said, bring somebody that knows these medicines well now. You went and brought someone that doesn't cook her medicine well. She doesn't know anything. Look at her face, she's looking confused. My dear. I have been cooking these painkillers and roots for over 30 years. There is no other way to cook it than this way. Go and bring me somebody that knows this thing. This person is trying to poison me. I'm telling you now. Kodili, what is wrong with you? Eh? Are you deliberately trying to be troublesome or this is how you are now? Are you deliberately trying to frustrate me even as I try to save you? I said go and find somebody that, that, that will kill me, that, that, that knows this medicine. This person doesn't know anything. She's trying to poison me. Have you tested it? You're just there complaining. Taste, taste it. it. Taste it now. Where are you going? Don't drink it. What are you waiting for? Won't you follow your employer? Eh? Since you've tried to poison me, it didn't work. What are you waiting for here again? It's not your fault. I only cure body pains. I don't cure mad people. You mad person. You don't and know your mind. What am mad. I doing here? Come and carry your, 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 your poison and get out. See your cover there. I am package and medicine well. That you only got another nine people you killed in 30 years. You want to make me another victim. I'm going to stop my sleep. I'm so cold. I need you here. I need you by my side. To keep we warm. complete. Without you, there is no me. Without you, I'm I cannot so quit. I need you here, I need you by my side To keep me I'm warm complete. Without you, there is no me Without hey, you You're there mm. You've been in there all this time And I've not seen you for five days And yet you claim you love me Eh? Five days What were you waiting for? The news of my death Eh? I have left you, Cordily Inugo, Cordily, I have left you I am no longer with you I will go and look for somebody else who is interested in living, not dying, and I will love him. Ah, mm. That's good news now. Oh. There's nothing more to discuss. Okay? There's nothing oh. more. I can do what I want to do without interference.
If you think anybody will praise you as a true friend of your dead friend just because you want to destroy your life over his death, you are wrong. There is no bravery in destroying your life. Go! about you. Thank God you've come to open your shop at last. That's the spirit. Come. No amount of tears we cry that will bring back our loved ones who have died. It's okay. Go to hell. him missing or, or make him come back to his senses but he did not this morning just this morning i told him it was over between me and him hmm? i told him that i was going to go and look for somebody else and that i'm not interested in him anymore eh? instead of bringing him back to me this is what it made him do eh? i don't know what else to do i think leaving him for you would be the best thing to do i mean who will we shouldn't drown with the city ship. I know what I'm going to do. How can I live with joy now that you're gone? My world is so dark. I let my mother tear us apart. She filled my heart with so much lies. I should have listened to you. Ah, good boy. Thank God you're here. I want you to run an errand for me. Ah. And then are you okay? Run, run. Call Godly for me. Just run, run. Call him for me, oh. Ah. Just call him for me, Respect now, eh? That you now follow me and look at my pain. Well, look well. You hear? Look very well. Because this is the last time you see me in this cursed village. You people have won. Thank you. And hey, you know what I'm telling you this? So that when you grow up, at least you have the story to tell your children. You tell them how my own mother destroyed my life by killing my best friend. Be sure to tell them.
Where are you going? I'm going away. To where? Anywhere away from here. You did not kill your friend, huh? Stop flogging yourself. I killed him. Your mother killed him. You are not your mother. I killed him. You killed him. My mother killed him. We all killed him one way or the other. What about your life? What about your shop? What about me? What about us? Everything is dead. My mother, you, us. This village. Dead. Everything died today only. Stop talking like a madman. Maybe I'm mad. Have you considered it? Who knows? I'm mad. If I was not mad, I'd probably slap you for calling me mad. You know, eh? But I won't slap you because I'm mad. <laughs> Why are you following me? Who else am I supposed to follow? I'm supposed to be married, for better or for worse. I told you it is dead. You said it is over. I think it is over. Didn't you hear me when I said everything is dead? You don't understand? You don't, you, you don't hear these days? Stop talking like this, Godly. Stop talking like this. Come back to your senses. Huh? Come back to your senses. You want me to come back? What are you doing? You soon will. What's wrong? Flog me. Flog me, God, I will not run away. Flog the woman who is carrying your child. Diana? Huh? Look at me. Diana? You're pregnant. Hey, it's Annie. Annie wants to come back to me as my son. I know he's going to be a boy. I know. Rest and take care of yourself. I don't have any other home I'm going to go to. The only home I know is the one I found in you. To disturb in your, in your mama, yeah. In your mama, yeah. Who is in your mama? Oh. You don't know who is in your mama. Huh? In your mama, my friend has come back. <laughs> it's the name I gave our unborn child. In respect of my friend that died. Oh, I see. Very good, and it is very befitting too. I'm glad they are gradually returning to the old cordially I knew. <laughs> but there is one more thing you must do to make me very happy. What? You must shave. You must start to eat well again. Eh? You must open your shop again. Renew your, your interest in life generally. And stop choo -choo 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 -choo, muttering to yourself all the time. You said one thing. You stunned to five things now. Eat well. Mm. Stop um, talking to myself. Yes. Open my shop. Mm -hmm. Renew um, my interest in life. life. <laughs> and shave. shave. Do all this, myself and your Mabia will be very happy. Finish. Okay. Wait. 
I am not pregnant. I lied to save him from self-destruction. Now he is so in love with the imaginary unborn child that he spends hours talking about the life we will live once this child is born. I dread what the results will be when he eventually finds out that I am not pregnant. Eh? Okay. What if you get pregnant for him before he gets suspicious? <laughs> then no harm is done. You do sleep with him, don't you? <laughs> That's the problem. He does not touch me. He says the baby is still forming. He does not want to hold the baby inside. He does not want to risk a miscarriage. In that case, you must find a way to lead him to bed. You must sleep with him now more often than I ever did. You must get pregnant or he will discover you lied and things will get worse. Hey. My baby, mm -hmm. here's another plate of pepper soup. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Um, Diana, mm? what are we celebrating? Yeah. Why the question? Because I need an answer. Oh. The last time you banned me from drinking, and now you're encouraging me to drink, I cannot make the connection. Hmm? Why? I'm happy to be alive. I'm carrying your child. I am celebrating our newfound togetherness. It was dead. Now it is alive. <laughs> so today you will eat, you will drink, enjoy yourself. You are excused. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dana, uh? top my beer. It is not beer. It is palm wine. Let me explain something to you that you don't understand. Mm. Hmm? Coming from a drunkard, I know better. <laughs> alcohol is alcohol. Beer, palm wine, wine, all of them. Stop. My oh my, my alcohol, talk Your, my alcohol. I'm wine. Stop <laughs> it. Dinah, my baby. <laughs> Come closer. You know I like to hold you when I drink. <laughs> baby, this love is uh, fabulous. Uh, uh, meanwhile, do you love me? I love you. Mm. 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 Touch my mm. Mm. Yes, you know they call this one the kiss of life. <laughs> I know what you want. You are dealing with a you fool man, eh? Godly. After, after half of this, I will go in out. Godly, 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 wake up. Huh? I sleep like the owner. What are you carrying in these bags? It's making you smile hmm? so broadly. What? It's a surprise. I want you to come with me to the house. Let me show you. Ah. I just came back from the big inquiry market. All right. Uh, let me tell my girl to... Beauty! I'll wait for you down the road. When that customer comes, tell her I'm coming back. Huh? Sizes. I bought some wings one month old, 
um, when he's six months old, when he's nine months old. I even bought something for his first birthday. Yes, look at it. See, shirt and trouser for him. And I bought this. <laughs> so I can be playing with my son. <sighs> Diana, hmm? why are you crying? No. Diana, you can't. I don't know why you're crying. This is supposed to be a happy day. Hmm? Okay. I know what is worrying you. Hmm? Oh, no. I'll come and see your people. Hmm? I'll, I'll, I'll come and uh, I'll pay your brother price. And then we'll marry properly before the day you come. Okay, well, we still have time now. Um, you, you're one month gone now, eh? That means we have up to eight months. Oh, so don't worry. And then when the baby comes, I'm going to name the baby in your Mabia. You better go and get your own pet name. Oh. Don't come and borrow mine. I have to go. I have a headache. Uh, stop crying. It's, it's a small thing no, now. No, no, Let me pass this. I'll bring you medicine for headache. I have to go. Please. Dana? Dana? Get on. Dana? She... She didn't even look at the clues. Roots that can stimulate manhood. Eh? Now, when you are fancy, eat the food that we mixed with this uh, mixture. Hey. He will become a lion. A lion, who? Oh. Ah, any food he sees around him, he will just finish it. And in this case, what he will see lying beside him is uh, you. <laughs> so, then, uh, you have, you have to take this. like that now why did you just run off like that he didn't even look at the baby clothes you didn't even answer me when i was calling you i told you i had headache now i i i needed to uh, get drugs but i had paracetamol i i i i also have um um, um panadol extra i was going to bring them i didn't need those those ones have you been waiting long maybe you left i came here I, i'm surprised you're not home yet i've been here waiting for you since hey, i'm sorry eh? i'm really sorry that i ran out of my head eh? it was Pounding, pounding. It's the pregnancy. You're not used to it yet. You need to calm down. Eh? He's a boy. He's a strong boy. He will be disturbing you. You need to come. You do so too much work in, in this uh, salon. Come inside. Let me make food for you, my husband. Come. Come inside. Sometimes you get to do things. You know that. Make your food be good for you. That's bad. Pound the yam for you. That's bad. Then I will rub your back. Give you my mind. Mm, Anna, this soup is very delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Just like the owner. <laughs> I don't know why, Diana, you're looking very beautiful today. <laughs> mm. Very beautiful indeed. <laughs> Gumba. <laughs> mm. Bana. Mm. Where are you going? 
going now? I'm going into the room. I want to go and get something. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Diana, you know what? Let me come and help you get that thing you're getting, eh? Is a pregnancy test result. Thank you. What is it before I open it? Is it positive or negative? I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but you're not pregnant. You have never bothered to marry, so you have no wife to get jealous over my visit. Can I ask you a question? Can you lay with me? Make me pregnant. Oh! If this works, I shall find a way to explain the lateness of the childbirth to Cordily. Hey. Hey. I can't. I can't. You know it's not right. And you belong to Cordily. What are you talking? You can! Huh? You have to! Uh -oh. You must! You gave me the help to lock Odile into my bed and he has! Several times, even yesterday, but nothing is working. Uh -oh. I am not yet pregnant. I have to get pregnant. I must get pregnant. I want it. And you, you have to. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What is it? I can't. I can't. can't what? Uh, after bringing me all this five seconds. Don't touch me! Ah, what is I it? I can't! What is it? What? Come on, what is it? You think I'm a small boy? Diana? Do you think I'm a small boy? Look at me well and tell me whether I look to you as, as a small boy. Huh? You, you walk into my house? Talk to me into entering my bedroom with you? They have me in the middle of nowhere and run to your house. What's the meaning of that? Mazi Oko, I'm huh? sorry. I could not finish what I started. Sorry what? Huh? What you have done is to insult, you have just insulted me. Is this how you insult your elders? I've said I'm sorry now. What do you want me to do? Here. Yeah. Diana, listen to me well. You walk into a full-grown man's house like myself and tease my manhood all over the place and tell me you are sorry. What kind of sorry? When you suggested that thing, did I not refuse? It was you who screamed and who insisted and, and shouted. See, you have just made me to look at you like a woman. Something I never dreamt of before. And you must give it to me today. And even no 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 no. I'm not I'm not leaving you. That's what I'm used to do. What is going on here? Oh! <coughs> what is going on here? Good Diana, what is going on? You better tell me what is going on. I will do something that will make this whole village shudder. Why are you carrying my baby? Huh? 
Tell me what you're doing. Go, go, I want to talk to you. Go, go, go. He's going to leave me away. Tell me what is going on. I, I lied. About what? I, I lied about the pregnancy. I, I had to tell you something to, to save you from destroying yourself. So you renew your interest in, in life. And in your life, our life, our marriage plans. There's no, no baby coming. There's no one your mom I wish, uh, I wish it was true. I wish I was carrying your, 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 your pregnancy. Really. But this lie, it's killing me. Every day, you, you shower love on a baby that is not even there. You, you buy baby clothes, you, you name the baby in your mabia. I had to run, I was running a helter skelter to get pregnant so that I, I will cover up the lie. Here for to get you pregnant because you hardly sleep with me. Huh? You say you don't want to have a, a baby that does not even exist. Get out. Strangers now. I guess it's useless to ask you to forgive me. I've been begging you now for two weeks, huh? It has taken me two weeks to make up my mind. I'm going away. And nothing I say will make you stay. Somewhere I'll find my feet. Away from the death of an innocent man. The deep lies that you've told me. Will you come back? Should I wait? I will wait. I will wait. Diana, if I wanted you to wait, I would say wait for me. But I'm not coming back. away for years. I wait till I find my feet again. 
If you find someone you love, then marry. Perhaps love is not for me. Love is like gossip, Diana. It is a moving thing. Different on every leap. I have the baby clothes that was meant to be for mine. Never to be here. Yeah. Give them to the baby you will have. It's from the bottom of my heart with love. I wish you well, Diana. May you find what you're looking for. I'm going to find mine. Without you, I cannot breathe. 